Hey guys, in our last video, we have learned how to create the yes no prompt and how to fix some of the bugs. Now let's move on to our new topic, create new folder. So let's see what is the story that we have. Create new folder or you can call it as um, usage of the mkdr command, mkdr directory or make directory. Okay, or how to create a folder or directory. So that is what we are going to learn. But as always, I'm going to teach you something extra. So what is that? Look at the user story. Build a batch script which will ask the user the folder name to be created. First, it is going to ask the user enter the name of the folder. Let's say I'm entering test. Then it will ask the user enter the name of the folder path. Then I am saying C drive, documents and some folder inside that you should create a new folder. Okay, so like that the batch script has to be created. Okay, so let's see how this can be done. This will be fun to create. Okay, so first thing we'll go to our notepad plus plus. I have already created a bat file called a blank bat file. Now let's start documenting. Okay, echo of what is the title we can give? Um, create new folder. Okay, now let's learn the usage of MKD. Okay, then we will try to complete the user story. User story is slightly complicated, right? So first let's understand what is the command we have to use. The command is make direct directory, mkdir. Now how this works, let's say, uh, for example, let's go to some folder, okay? Documents and then uh, tests, okay? So I'll go to this test folder, let's say, okay? So this is the test folder and here I would like to create a folder called uh, test 1.1. Okay, test 1.1 I would like to create here. So what you do, you generally take the path of this directory. Okay, this is the path where you would like to create a new folder. So whichever that folder, copy that. Okay, so how this one works is something like this. Test and here I would like to create test 1.1 let's say. So save and if I am going to run here you will find 1.1 will get created. Okay, so let's quickly run it. Save, let's go to our batch script folder and run it. So when I double click and let me go back to the same folder. So you can see test 1.1 got created. So that is the uses of make directory. But our use case is slightly different. Build a bash script which will ask the user the folder name. So how to do that? Do this and ask the user the folder path. So how to do this? It's quite simple. Okay, let's script it. Okay, so we will use this later. Now the first thing we will use set to ask any user input set slash p, p stands for prompt. Okay, it will prompt the user and we need the folder name, right? So I will say folder underscore name equals to enter the new folder name. Okay, this will be asked to the user. Now same thing we will do for the folder path. Here I will say folder underscore path equals to enter the new sorry enter the folder path it should be existing right so folder path where a new folder will be created so this is done now you understood how the make directory works make directory needs the entire path so that means if somebody is entering for example let's save it okay we'll learn step by step don't worry um, let me close this what is this okay so um Let's go to the batch script folder and inside the folder, let me run it. Okay. If I run this, what happens? It is asking enter the folder name. Let's say I want to enter test 1.1. Okay. Then it is asking enter the folder path. Let's say I'm entering test. Okay. Now if I hit on enter, it should combine both of them. So for example, if a test one got folder gets created inside the folder, it should have the entire path, right? So um what is that test so here if you look at the path of this is looks something like this so you have to join or concatenate both the strings so how to do concatenation of both the strings let me show you so this is quite simple all you have to do set i don't want to prompt i just want to concatenate both the things and store it in a different folder so i will say full full or i will say new path okay new underscore path equals to I have to add both the things to add both the things how will you do it simply first 
the folder path which will have c drive and all that so i will say folder underscore path percentage so if you write percentage what happens that gets you the value okay we got the value and after that there has to be a backward slash so write a backward slash if you give it a space then it will create a space okay that's why it should not have any space backward slash and then the folder name the new folder name so percentage folder underscore name i will show you okay i'll show you this how the output would appear if i say echo new underscore path do you see and i will say pause let's see how the output is coming first of all let's run this okay so let's say i am saying test 2.1 let's say i am going to say hit on enter the path is the same path hit on enter so what is happening um, a new path sorry i made a mistake it has to be echo percentage you have to write percentage right to get the value okay save it now let's run it again okay and let's say test 2.1 enter this one enter so now you can see echo when it's doing it is giving you the entire path now taking this entire path i can use mk directory and add it there pretty simple so let's do it i don't need it so instead of here i will say mk dir and i will say value of the new path so always use the percentage percentage means you are fetching the value of that variable okay so now this is going to create a folder or not yes it's going to create a folder so let's save it and quickly run it okay uh, test 3.1 let's say hmm. 3.1 where you would like to create i would like to create inside this folder hit on enter done now if you go there to that specific folder uh, and i'll go to test and you can see test 3.1 got created getting it so did we meet the requirement yes we have met the requirement there are still couple of as we advance i am going to teach you so many things okay there will be um, you know conditions what if the directory is already present you know how do you find that so there are a lot many things we will learn but slowly let's go so you have learned something new today so let's move on to next topic and keep commenting if you are learning simply say if you have completed any topic simply type completed so that i know that you are utilizing it and you are getting benefited simply type completed on all all my videos thank you guys